what you need uh, to achieve a stronger team. And the second one, do you think the fans will lower the pressure, uh, the pressure and let you uh, work? Yeah, I think we played a fantastic game tonight, so I think uh, it was a very good football match in total, but I think we had a very good balance in our team, we defended very well, um, very good organized, I think also we wanted to do some things better uh, today in the, uh, in the last third in defending and I think we did very well, so we controlled the important uh, uh, spaces. It's not easy against Glasgow Rangers because they are can you, can you, can you, what's the proper response, for what? It's not easy against Glasgow Rangers. Um, I think they play a lot of long balls and uh, crosses. So I think um, in total it was a, was a top game in defending. And I think we also always um, find solutions in the attacking, especially in transition. So I think we had the top moments in the first half. In the second half, we scored uh, the goal. And um, then also we had moments to decide the game. But I think the key was today that we worked very hard and, and uh, were fighting as a team um, to have a clean sheet. And at the end, I think if you see the two legs, um, Glasgow Ranger was a straight, very strong opponent. But at the end, I think we deserved to go to, to quarterfinal. Hi, uh, Coach, Rick Astorberg, what does this weekend uh, offer the qualification? What does it mean for the, the group? Yeah. You know, it's international football, and uh, Benfica is a is a big club with a lot of tradition and uh, history, and uh, to play always um, international games, especially in the knockout stage, is very important for the club, um, and also very important for for the team. So I think our players uh, is, is a good mix of very experienced players um, and also some very young players, and uh, especially the young players, of course, they can grow. Um, in a very good way in these games and, and if you play uh, today or now in the next round in quarterfinal if you see the teams will be a very strong opponent again so it's very important for us so that's why, why we are working uh, very hard to play these games and to reach a uh, quarterfinal again um, like last season this season Europa League last season Champions League is, uh, is very good for the players but especially for our, for our club. Um, about who? Options. About options. The, the players. Mm -hmm. uh, first player is about Florentino. Um, Florentino was almost uh, an disputed starter last season, and this season he, he lost some space. Uh, today uh, he seemed to be the second response. Uh, can you explain his role in, in your squad this season? And my, my, my other question is about Tank Ter. Uh, he, he was the yeah, I think Florentino, you know, we have a lot of options on this position with, uh, with John Elvis, with Florentino, with Orkun, with John Mario. And of course, then sometimes the momentum is decisive. And in my opinion, Florentino is a very important player for us and also for me. I think, of course, last season he played especially the first uh, half or the, a lot of games of the season in a very good way, uh, at the end a little bit less, but uh, he was very important to win the championship. And also this year is a very important player. And what I appreciate also when he was not in the, in the starting 11 in that time, he showed uh, fantastic attitude. So he's a role model for all the other players who are not playing in the starting 11. Um, and now it was time for him again to play and he showed top performances in a row now. Also today, in my opinion, he played a fantastic game. So that is his role. So he's always available. He's always uh, sharp, and uh, he's always positive. So that's why that's what you have to do as a professional football player. And um, yeah, Kasper had some problems after his injury. Then he played some games. He was uh, sick, and, and now he's he's back. But also Arthur and Marcos uh, did well, in my opinion. Today, Marcos. Uh, was tired at the end of the first half. Uh, he played on Sunday, so of course for him is is a challenge to to play in a short time on this level um, to important matches. So that was already a little bit what I expected uh, today. Um, and then, in my opinion, Casper uh, was the right choice because Casper is very good in in, um, in deep runs, in asking for the ball up front, and also in pressing. He can run a lot, and I think he he needed a little bit. But then later on, he played a good game. 
you, you spoke about flooring, you know, and that was one, was one of the points that I would like to ask you. Last, in the, in the first leg, you said good, great things about these Neves and Florentino. Today, they both were great, especially defensively. Do you think that this is the dynamic duo that you need to balance the team, especially on the defense? Yeah, you know, it's not only the central midfield. Of course, they were top today, but in my opinion, also Antonio Silva and Nico Atamendi are center backs. And also Frederick and Alex Barr, I think they did very well on the on the on the sides. And and, and I think the, for me the most important thing today was that also the the attacking players they they worked a lot and they supported the the fullbacks, they supported the central midfielders. So we were very compact and very good connected today in total. And I think this is what you have to um, achieve as a team that you do both things together, attacking and also defending. And I think that was also what we did, what we discussed before the game that we want to uh, want to go to to the top level uh, um, uh, regarding these um, points and tactical um, topics. And I think the, the team showed a very good uh, reaction. Um, so I think the, the balance in the team today was important. Tino and Joao give us balance, but together with, with the other players. Roger, uh, I know Mr. for a while. You already talked a little bit about that, but uh, I would like you to develop a little more because I, I, I agree that today the, the key was the way the team um, played as a block mm -hmm. uh, and maybe in the first half um, there were some difficulties with the transitions because maybe the team was really focused on being that block and at the second half the team was able to, to, to make the transitions better. Do you agree with this? I think in the first half we had also top transition moments. I think uh, what we missed a little bit was the last or the last two passes to do it, to do it better, to find the better timing, and also to do the the right uh, runs at the right moment. So I think it was not uh, nothing with the block. It was more like um, the decision making in transitions because the the moments they were there in the first half and also in the second half that you um, have to also accept that sometimes uh, Glasgow at home can put you under pressure. So, of course, that is something um, we expect from, from them. But I think what we did well is that we gave them not a really clear moments to get free shots uh, in the box or around the box. And I think that was important. And like you said, um, I think the block in, in total of the whole team was, um, was uh, very, very strong today. Any questions from the Scottish media? Nothing. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.